All right, good evening, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen anglers, we are getting ready to go. So we're gonna head back to Lake Seminole tomorrow, the big S, and uh, the fish are pretty much in full pre-spawn spawn mode. I've, uh, it was about two weeks ago, I did the episode where, um, you know where i was targeting offshore hydrilla and grass lines up the flint river but you'd be amazed what two weeks can change and the fish i mean the water temperature is up over 10 degrees and the fish are absolutely moving up on the beds uh, there's a big high school tournament tomorrow and i know a couple of the people uh who, who were pre-fishing and you know they've seen some big ones on beds and they caught one today uh, about six and a half pounds uh i don't know she may have been a little bigger but um needless to say they caught her in about a foot and a half of water way back in the back of a slough so we're going to uh target some of our favorite shallow spawning flats tomorrow we're going to get way off the beaten path and uh hopefully the fish will be in there and we should be able to catch them i mean you can pretty much do whatever you want if you want to throw a fluke you can catch one on a fluke. You can throw a frog. You know, you can throw the live target bluegill. You can throw a chatterbait, swim bait, swim jig, whatever you want. I think it's going to be a good time. Stay tuned. Well, I met her at a Murphy's restaurant. She said she was fresh from the farm. All right, good morning again, everybody. It's, I don't even know, six something again. We're uh, headed west again on I-10 to Lake Seminole. So, uh, meeting my dad over there today. So we're gonna have, uh, hopefully a good day for you guys. Um, like, like I said, fishing been biting all week and moving up to the beds. So wish us luck that, uh, that we'll have, uh, have a bunch of fish today. Stay tuned. Well, we found ourselves at a popular ramp today. Holy cow. I think it's a big club out of somewhere in South Georgia coming here. We got quite a bit of fog. So I think these guys are about to take off and go start. And we're going to get in here and give it a shot. Snapped it in half. All the way on that opposite edge. I don't think that's that fish though. I don't either. It wasn't far enough. Uh, I think this is maybe like a male or something. The other one, the other one, I saw the other one. We're starting one. to catch a few guys. Well, we need to figure. Oh. We need to fit. Okay, I'm, I'm going to swim bait. This is ridiculous. Is it a good one? That's a nice fish, man. Are you kidding me? All right. It's not the five pounder of years past, but it's the same spot. Dang sure is. <laughs> right there. Yeah. All right. Right there. Golly. He came out and. I'm smoked. way out. He waked out at 100 miles an hour. Three. 
he is. Get him! Yes! <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. What the hang? Hey, you, now, that would have been your fish if you could have thrown back in it. Back on him. Look at how tore up they are. They are. They're doing it. They're doing it. Oh, that's, yeah, that's better. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. That's, that's, that's a good solid. Woo! I don't know. There's a three. Oh. All right, get your bait in the water. They are killing it today. Want me to help get him? Oh. Get down there and get that fish. Oh, he's all. Oh. Based on the sound, I thought we had a big one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Got one? Yeah. Serious? Yes, I'm serious. All right. Oh. Look at that. All right. Mm -hmm. Sorry, just I've got a prank bait. Oh. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> A good one. Thank the Lord. Look at what he just put up. What is that? I don't know. It's like an eel or something. A digested eel or it, a catfish? It looks like a piece of octopus. Well, we just had a bass cough this up. And we think it's the remains of an eel. Certainly kind of shaped like one. So. Hmm. Guess I need to design an eel bait. <laughs> I don't know. This flipping thing today, good morning. Yeah, they want it, don't they?
All right, everybody, back at the ramp. This was our biggest fish of the day. She's full of eggs, so we're gonna give her a quick release here. Hunter Bozeman. See ya. Well, guys, I know there's probably a lot of wind noise, but today was a phenomenal day. Uh, what can I say? The Lake Seminole is just magic this time of year, and you know we were fishing a place today. Uh, as you probably know by now at this point in the video called four foot ditch and uh we went into some other areas and um it was really something so we're uh looks like looks like he's back in the trailer down so we're about to get out of here and um hey awesome awesome trips good memories glad glad my dad was able to come doesn't get any better than this so thanks again for watching the world's worst fishing and we'll see you next time Hey guys, thanks for watching the world's worst fishing. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please give us a comment down below, tell us what you think, and also hit that like and subscribe button.